Welcome back. Well, the weather's finally getting warmer and it looks like summer entertainment is heating up too. Kennedy is back with more on that. Hey, Kennedy. That's right, Mara. Big names are hitting the road from Beyonce and Janet to Snoop. We've got the latest on the summer tours to watch. But first, Hollywood's writer strike is hitting creators of color just as we're facing a black TV resurgence. I'm a writer, so I have a writer-led company, and it's very important to me that nobody cross a picket line. Bridgerton and Scandal creator Shonda Rhimes on the record and showing support. More than 15 days in, don't expect the Writers Guild strike to be ending anytime soon. No contract, no peace! For the next few months or however long it goes, I won't be putting pen to paper. Mm -hmm. And I think what's really hard are the people who are doing this because they need to make a living wage. And yeah. so if they're gonna get to make a living wage, then I'm happy to be on strike. And that action is cutting across the black creative front. Even Snoop weighed in. The writers are striking because streaming, they can't get paid. Because when it's on the platform, it's not like in the box office. In the box office, if it does all these numbers, you may get an up. Oh, it did this many, here's another check. But on streaming, you got 300,000 hours that somebody watched your movie, where's the money? And that is at the heart. As writers, production companies, and studios try to cut through the differences on how the media business should have handled streaming services. The advent of streaming by the studios has become an existential threat to our jobs. Brittany Nichols is a writer on Quinta Brenton's Emmy-winning series, Abbott Elementary. The pay model uh, has not changed to meet the new realities of this business, and it doesn't allow writers to share in the success of the shows that we work for. There are three major points here, one of those being compensation, another is the number of writers staffed in a writer's room, and finally, the emergence of artificial intelligence. Daily Variety senior entertainment writer Angelique Jackson says those folks out on the streets are in this fight for the long haul. You see a showrunner like Quinta Brunson out on the picket lines kind of fighting for her writing staff, knowing that, yes, you know, while maybe she is kind of in the spotlight right now, she is also a writer. I am striking because paying writers a day rate is an abomination. We are skilled professionals and we deserve to be paid that way. Stop being cheap. And a black lady sketch show creator, Robin Thede, is carrying the torch. Black, indigenous, and people of color make up just 37% of the WGA's reported 6,000 person membership. Black writers make up just 16%. And this walkout comes at a time of a black TV resurgence. Shows like Abbott Elementary, for example, which has been an incredible hit, that show was about to begin its writer's room for the third season. And yes, this writer's strike, depending on how long it goes, could affect when that show comes back. Another layer to the strike is the trickle-down effect, especially for the day and nighttime talk shows, which rely heavily on the writers that are now in limbo. According to music journalist Devon Jefferson. Um, Lil Uzi Vert, they were set to have their debut appearance on Saturday Night Live the 48th season and as you know they're not they're not writing any any material for the 48th season right now so you know Lil Uzi Vert's uh, performance was canceled. While writers are striking many music artists are taking to the road as summer touring season is on fire. Within the last decade music festivals have grown into a major money maker especially for artists who can command anywhere from ten thousand dollars to a quarter of a million and more. These lucrative opportunities weighing more onto you know behalf of the artists rather than you know the labels or corporations. According to Billboard more than 32 million people have attended festivals festivals each year. The Gen Z centric Coachella is one of the most popular festivals in the country. Essence draws over half a million people out for the music for the culture. This year's attraction, Missy Elliott. And some of the biggest names are capitalizing on the fan base. Cue the Beehive, which is likely to put Beyonce's Renaissance tour in the history books. Beyonce is expected to gross over two billion globally with the Renaissance World Tour. 
And not to be left out of this frenzy for touring, Janet Jackson's Together Again tour is bringing that fan base fiending for that Jackson touch. I think one of the most anticipated tours that we can look forward to this summer is SZA. Um, you know, all those weeks of setting that record number one consecutive. This summer is also an opportunity for rising acts to make a name, including Young Dolph's protege, Key Glock. He continues to, you know, carry on the legacy of, uh, uh, young Dolph and, and um, you know, do things over there with Paper Root Inter Empire. And regardless of who y'all are going to see this summer, expect to drop some serious nickels and dimes. The average ticket price, according to Billboard, is around $350. That's your nosebleed. You're just in there, right? You're just happy to be here seats, right? For those premium stage side four seat, you're looking at about $1,400.